got to tell you. I'm in there watching the fourth night of the Democratic National Convention out of Chicago, Illinois, there, live. Because these are the types of things I need to see for myself. I can't sit there and listen to somebody's idea of something without seeing it for myself. It's very easy for them to talk over things they don't want you to hear. But what just occurred to me is going to have to wait because I have to tell you what I was thinking about earlier. I said to Victoria, the way I've always seen the idea of safety in numbers is like a whole bunch of fish or a whole bunch of animals, you know, ah, okay. The odds are suited for you if there are a whole lot of them. Whatever's trying to kill you will get to the one before it gets to you. So there's safety in numbers. I always felt that little bit pessimistic as, as a, a, a thing of hope. You know, fuck everybody. Get enough of us together. I'll get towards the middle if I can. don't mind trampling a person here and there makes it easier for them to get caught behind you however I've been looking at the way it occurred to me earlier I've been looking at the way that that poor guy has been saying things like it'll be a bloodbath if if the election doesn't go his way and things like that, while people are doing coke off each other's legs in the background, trying anyway. I saw the mirror drop, and that girl was like, what the fuck? He's talking, and there was a girl trying to do a line. I, there's a video about it. I, I shared it with you. It's a while ago. It was in Dayton. If you watch him right about the bloodbath part where he's saying it'll be a bloodbath, he was talking about automotive industry, supposedly, but he speaks to the people that are listening that understand. Same way Jesus did. Don't want to have to explain everything to Peter. He wasn't too bright. J.D. But the way they're acting, and you look, and they're only probably 20 percent really of people that would be willing to stand up and go ah and the other people are wait 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 we were just here for the beer you know who knows how many are going to do it but they've been trying to scare everybody even though there are a lesser amount of people because well you look at those democrats over there and they're not in line with the liberals uh libertarians and they're not in line with everybody they're not in line with each other they're not pulled together so they're an easy target, and they're easy to scare because they don't want to talk to anybody because they don't trust anybody because they're easy to scare. And so those megalomaniacs felt like it was an easy target. We could just terrorize them. It's terrorism. It's domestic terrorism, scaring people to act a certain way. Oh, my beer froze up. But I watch the way these people are coming together with these Democrats right now. I'm like, holy crap. They really are coming together as one. They're like people singing. They're so happy together that if you try to crush it, it's like the one guy you knew in the army. He said, hey, I don't mind if you piss me off. Just don't do it when I'm happy because you made it all the worse. You took me from being a good mood to a bad mood. You know, it was it was twice as bad if he was in a good mood, if he got pissed off. 
And that's with these people. They're all singing together right now and all happy kumbaya shit. But they are pulling together as what I have come to realize is the safety in numbers because that many people together will protect each other and it dumbs down these megalomaniacs in their little pockets and militias that don't know the fucking U.S. government still belongs to Biden and they're watching all of them saying, go ahead, fucking step out, motherfucker. They're ready for you. You need to understand that if you're one of these guys in the militia that likes to drink, don't get on the bike and go with them. Because they're waiting for you at the end of the fucking dead end road, man. Yeah. So there is a safety in numbers coming. And I was like, okay. Okay. But then it seems like we're okay within the U.S. This is going to be something the whole world's watching. I just see this thing with that pink chick. I think she married... Tony Hawk or something, I'd skateboard her. I don't know, I didn't, I was out there, but I wasn't following too much. Um, she's singing with people, and, and it, it's it's heartwarming, and they've got this, this just plea, fucking what about us, you know? And, and it, it's really a message that's going out into the entire world. You want to talk about safety and numbers? This just amplified it, because it seems to me that any fucking ally of the United States that we had for any time other than those that have been betrothed to that poor guy like fucking Putin and Kim Jong-un and, and fucking Orban and Maduro, whoever he, yeah, Maduro's got a place for Trump and Elon to have lunch at, if everything goes to shit. Elon and Trump talked about it on his ex thing. I'll meet you in Venezuela for lunch if everything goes to hell, paraphrase. But look, these women and girls, all these people, they're singing together and they got a guy playing guitar. It's like a fucking folk hippie thing. Bob Dylan might come out any minute. I should have waited till it was over. But what they are doing is they are endearing the entire world to our plea. Not just saying please, like uh, that poor guy says to suburban wives, please vote for me, I want you, please, won't you? No, not please that way. These people are describing our plight to the world, and we're not asking for help. We're showing them how much, they're showing how much they believe, you know, how much they're willing to fight for this thing that is important. Not just to the people that are singing, not just to that poor guy, but to the rest of the world. So you want to talk about safety in numbers now? Remember those United States military... Uh, aircraft and all kinds of equipment we've been selling abroad all these years, sharing with our friends. Our friends are going to appreciate us sharing and they're going to help us out. And um, safety in numbers, I think right here tonight at the end of these four days, uh, I think our numbers just got a whole lot bigger. Airborne, don't make me go airborne on your ass.